Hi again, boys and girls. So today our story for our knowledge astronomy unit is all about stars. And we are going to read and learn more about stars. We are even going to read and learn some about shooting stars, which, believe it or not, are not actually stars that go shooting across the sky when we see them. They're just called shooting stars. And we are going to find out what those actually are when they are shooting across the sky. So I want you to listen very carefully as I read you this story. First picture you have is a beautiful night sky. So take a look at that. And I want you to look very closely at it. Look at the stars. Look at the light you see at the bottom. Look at the land you see at the bottom. And this evening when the sun goes down, when the sun sets, I want you to look out your window and I want you to see what you see in your night sky. Do you see something like that? Can you see a bunch of stars in the sky? Do you see different colors out your window? I want you to take a look. Let's read our story together, okay? Looking at our picture. When nighttime comes, you can say good night to the sun, our daytime star. And you can say hello to all the millions of other stars that shine in outer space. Remember, stars are hot balls of gas that give off light and heat. Remember, the stars are always out there. Outer space does not disappear during the day and then reappear at night. You can see those stars at night because the sun's light is no longer shining on your part of the Earth. But the stars are always there. At dusk, just after the sun has set in the west, but before all of its light has faded, the first stars of the night appear. This is an image of dusk that we see. One, two, three, and then so many more stars. The darker it is, the more stars you see. If you live in this city, then you can't see as many stars as people who live in the country can see. Lights in the city brighten the night sky and make it difficult to see the stars. Out in the country, and especially out in the wilderness, far away from buildings, street lights, and cars, the night sky seems to explode with glittery, twinkling stars. Take a look at those stars. They might look small, but many of those stars that you see are actually incredibly large. Many stars are larger than our own sun, which, as you may remember, is big enough to fit a million Earths inside. The stars look small because they are so far away, and the stars look like they're blinking but they're actually shining steadily. The gases in our atmosphere cause their light to look like it's twinkling. Just how far away are the stars? Here's one way to think about it. If someone put you on the fastest rocket ship today and launched you out into space, it would take you thousands of years, about 73,000 to be exact to reach the nearest star beyond our sun. That's pretty far away. However, you can still see the light from that massive hot star, even if it looks more like a tiny twinkling diamond from here on Earth. At night, astronomers study the stars. Astronomers work in observatories, which are buildings where large telescopes are housed. Telescopes are tube-like tools with lenses and mirrors used for magnifying objects in space in order to observe them. Observatories are built high up on hills or mountaintops where there are no buildings or trees blocking the telescope. The roof of the observatory is designed so that it can open and allow the telescope inside to move up and down and all around without bumping into anything. 
Astronomers need really big, powerful telescopes to do their work. This is the kind of telescope you may find inside an observatory. That is one big telescope. But you don't need a massive telescope and fancy mountaintop to observe to enjoy the wonders of stargazing or looking at stars. If you want to get a better look at the stars or a closer look at the moon, a pair of binoculars will do the trick. Hold your hands to your eyes like you're holding binoculars. Can you do it with me? Can you go like this? And look around, what do you see? Do you th see anything special? Or you can use a telescope like the one in this picture. You'd be surprised by all the different things you can see through a telescope. Through careful study, astronomers have figured out many interesting facts about stars. Even though though no person is able to travel and study a star up close, Astronomers have learned that some stars are older than other stars, some stars are hotter than others, and some appear red through telescopes, and others appear like they're blue. Stars change color depending on how hot they are, and how hot a star is depends on its age, size, and other factors. Oh, look at that. But you do not need a telescope in order to appreciate the wonders of outer space. If you look at the sky long enough on any given night, you will eventually see a meteor or a shooting star. A meteor is the light we see when a rock that flies through the space enters Earth's atmosphere. The meteor or bright light appears as a streak in the sky before it disappears in the blink of an eye. At first glance, a meteor may look like a star is literally falling through the sky. However, stars do not move like that. Meteors, although they are sometimes called shooting stars, are not stars at all. So, if you see a shooting star, what are you really seeing? Do you remember? What did I say? Is that a star? Nope. What is it? It's a rock. It's a meteor falling in outer space. Take a look at this. There are billions of rocks and other debris in outer space. Some are quite large, but most are tiny between the size of a grain of sand and a baseball. When rocks break in space, all the broken pieces or the debris just move around together because there isn't enough gravity for them to fall anywhere. These rocks and debris are whizzing around all over the place in outer space. Occasionally one crashes towards Earth. Before it can hit Earth's surface though, it crashes into our atmosphere. For a space rock hitting the Earth's atmosphere is like a person running into a brick wall except the atmosphere doesn't stop it. The rock or the debris hits the atmosphere at an incredible speed and keeps moving through. As it does, it generates intense heat. The rock burns up as it enters the uppermost part of Earth's atmosphere, creating a streak of light, a meteor or shooting star, as some people call it. Okay. Occasionally, bits and pieces of rock survive their trip through the atmosphere and fall to Earth. This is rare, but it does happen from time to time, and it is possible to find pieces of them on the ground. When part of a rock or debris survives the trip through the atmosphere and lands on Earth, it's called a meteorite. Do you see a picture of the meteorite? The meteorite in this picture is probably not the most exciting rock you have ever seen, but it is pretty amazing to think that it came from outer space. Sometimes by studying meteorites, scientists discover new types of rock that do not exist on Earth.
rocks from outer space. The next time you go on a, ro- on a walk, you should look for rocks that might look like they came from outer space. You never know, maybe you'll find one at the park or walking along the street. Who knows, maybe someday you will find a meteorite. One more picture for today's story. Let's see what we have. Look, outer space is a strange and wonderful place. By studying the stars, planets, and other objects in space, astronomers astronomers have learned many things about this incredible universe, of which we have our planet Earth, are but a teeny tiny part. Remember the universe is everything in space taken together, including planets, stars, and space itself. Feast your eyes upon this massive star cluster or group for a moment and imagine if you can, the incredible number of stars and incredible distance between us and them and how much there is for us to learn about our universe. For instance, look at the very center of this picture. There in the middle is a little cluster of 14 bluish stars added together. Do you see the bluish stars? Do you see them right here? Added together, astronomers estimate that these 14 stars combined it over 20,000 times larger than our sun. And remember, our sun is a million times bigger than the whole planet Earth. That's so huge, it's hard to think about. And that's just 14 stars out of all of the stars in this one picture. The universe is an amazing thing. And as we continue to study astronomy, we are going to learn so much. I hope you enjoyed this video today and our story. I'll see you next time. Bye, boys and girls.